And tonight's topic is, who is the true church? Right now, I'm going to introduce the panel. And to my right is... I'm Elder Shannon I have been Israel. Shalom. 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 I am Elder Aharon ben Israel. Shalom. 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 I am Obiyahu ben Yehuda Israel. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, Aki. So, this is the second segment of uh, Who is the True Church? And in the first segment, uh, we were cut off. We were about to uh, elaborate on the, the tabernacle mm. or the house of Yah. Mm. And f uh, in the beginning of, the, of this, uh, this program, in the first part of the program, we were talking about how the church was established through the Father's covenant. Mm -hmm. We were reading from Exodus and how the Father sanctified the children of Israel, took, him, took them upon, took him unto himself, and made them a nation of priests. This is the true beginning of the church. We were trying to show the viewing audience the difference between what's called the church of today as opposed to the true church that's established by what's written. Okay? So now, we came all the way up to 2 Samuel. And I read uh, 2 Samuel 7, and I'm going to read it again. Uh, 2 Samuel 7 and 5. Okay. I'm sorry, and 4. And it came to pass that night, that the word of Yahweh came unto Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant Dawid, thus saith Yahweh, shall thou build me a house for me to dwell in, whereas I have not dwelt any, in any house since the time that I brought up the children of Israel out of Mizraim. Now, go to the 12th verse, okay? So I'm gonna, this is an extension of what was said right here to, to, to confirm what was said that Nathan was to say to Dawid. Now, 12 says, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thine own body, and I will establish his kingdom. Right. He shall build a house for my name. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Okay. okay? Now, go to the 22nd chapter. I'm talking 22nd verse of the same chapter. It says, Wherefore thou art great, O Yahweh Elohim, for there is none like thee, neither is there any <coughs> ill beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And what one nation in the earth is like thy people, even like Israel, whom Yahweh went to redeem from a people to himself and to make him a name, and to do for you great things and awe inspiring for thy land before thy people, which thou redeemed to thee from Mizraim, from the nations and their gods, for Thou hast confirmed to thyself thy people, Israel, to be a people unto thee forever. And thou, Yahweh, art become their heir. Mm. And now, O Yahweh Elohim, the word that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house, establish it forever and do as thou hast said. Mm. And let thy name be magnified forever, saying, Yahweh of hosts is Yahweh over Israel, and let the house of thy servant that we be established before thee. Mm -hmm. For thou, O Yahweh of hosts, Yahweh of Israel, has revealed to thy servant, saying, I will build thee a house. Therefore have thy servant found in his heart to pray this prayer unto thee. And now, O Yahweh Elohim, thou art that El, and thy words are true and thou hast promised his goodness unto thy servant. Therefore now, let it please thee to bless the house of thy servant, that it may continue forever before thee. For thou, O Yahweh Elohim, hast spoken it, and with thy blessing let the house of thy servant be blessed forever. We're talking about the house that Shlomo or Solomon was commissioned to build. Okay. 
which was the temple, mm -hmm. which was supposed to house the presence of Yah. Mm -hmm. This basically is the beginning. Okay, we, 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 we've been trying to bring out the beginnings of the church. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're at a, 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 a housing or a structure that is, that is stable. Okay, the, t the tabernacle was movable. Right. This is stable. Okay. Okay. This is the humble beginnings of the church because the church is to establish the Father's name. Right. Establish the Father's statutes and ordinances. Okay, very good. And it is the housing in which his spirit is to dwell. Very good. Excellent. These are... The principles in which the church is built upon. Mm -hmm. If you don't have any of these principles in your makeup, guess what? You don't have a church. Not the church of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's true. There you go, Elder. Turn to Proverbs 21. Just to follow up on what Gazakiel just said. Yeah, that's a good teaching. Very good. Proverbs what, Elder? Proverbs 21, 21 and verse 16. It says, a man who wanders from the way of understanding will remain in the congregation or assembly of the dead. Mm -hmm. So what <laughs> Kazakiel has been trying to explain to you if you are not under the covenant that the Father prescribes, you are in the congregation of the dead. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what we're saying to you? Huh? Turn mm -hmm. to Psalms 149. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, praise Yahweh. It says, sing to Yahweh a new song. Mm -hmm. And his praise in the assembly of saints. Let Yisrael rejoice in their maker. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Mm -hmm. Let them praise his name with dance. Let them sing praises to him with tambourine and harp. Mm -hmm. Skip down to verse 9. It says to execute on them the written judgment. This honor have all his saints. Praise Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Now, when you are in your church mm -hmm. and you call yourself singing and dancing with the tambourine mm -hmm. and the harp and the guitar mm -hmm. and you singing praises, who are you praising? That's right. <clears throat> Very good question. That's right. Because the God of Israel who <clears throat> makes covenants forever, you're not singing to him. Because you don't know him. Because this part of the book, you don't even use. Right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so again, when you look at Proverbs 21, 16, mm -hmm. you are the one who has wandered out of the way of understanding. That's right. Why? Understanding what? That Yah has a covenant people. Mm-hmm. Huh? And you don't even know who that covenant people is that you are a part of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> That's right. Oh yeah, you, 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 you brought that out, Elder. <coughs> and, the, and the thing that's most misunderstood is when we were reading about the kingdom. I'm sorry about this house being established forever, mm -hmm. okay, forever meaning it was to extend itself
far beyond the days of Dawid, yeah, the days of slow mo, mm -hmm. yeah. through an individual. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That individual being Hamashiach, yeah. King. Yahshua. Mm -hmm. That's the reason I went mm -hmm. to Second Samuel mm -hmm. to show or try to establish um, well, you know what I'm trying to do or trying to show regarding the church being established because. It's not the housing that is the church. Right. Right, 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 right. The housing is important. But if the Father's Spirit doesn't dwell there, the housing is just a structure. That's all. Okay? This is the point that I'm trying to make. Right. We have uh, an abundance of tabernacles and temples yep. and mosques and storefronts. Synagogue. And thank you, synagogues, or what have you. But if the Father's presence isn't there, Can't. that is not the church. Not at all. And when it, it, it may be a church, but we're talking about the church. Right. Yeah. right. See, it's only one the, the church. church. Right. And that's what this program is about. Right. Because, see, I went to the law and I was trying to show. When Moshe was establishing, he had to make the covenant mm -hmm. <laughs> before the people. I mean, bring out the covenant before the people, reading from the book of the covenant, which is the law, establishing the church from that day, trying to bring it all the way up into the day of Dawid. The same covenant, the same ale. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with the same principles here. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right? And when it was brought to the attention of Dawid about slow-mo and establishing it forever. Mm -hmm. That was talking about the Messiah. Right, right. Which is the extension of the church, which is the head. Right. Cornerstone. Okay? Thank you. Chief cornerstone of the church. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying is, it has to be along one line right. in the Father's presence. Okay, like we said, the covenant has to be in that church. Right. The law, statutes, and ordinances. His name has to be there. His presence has to be there. Right. In order for it to constitute as his church. Okay? Very good. You got anything else? I'd like to read this right here. All right. <clears throat> let's look at Isaiah, and uh, let's go to the 56th chapter of Isaiah. Okay. And I see this as a like a preview uh, to what is to come. And when I say what is to come, referring to that information, what we call and what we call the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, the 56th uh, chapter, and we will begin with the third verse. It says, Yah says, Do not let the son of the foreigner who has joined himself to Yah mm -hmm. speak, saying, Yah has utterly separated me from his people. Mm -hmm. No, let the eunuch say, Here I am a dry tree. For thus says Yah, for thus says Yah to the eunuch who keep my Sabbath and choose what pleases me and hold fast my covenant. Even to them I will give in my house, and within my walls a place and a name better than that of the sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Verse 6. Mm -hmm. Also, the sons of the foreigner, referring to pagans, mm -hmm. other people, yeah. strangers, who are not Israel, mm -hmm. also the sons of the foreigner who join themselves to Yah mm -hmm. to serve him and to love the name of Yahweh, to be his servants. Everyone who keeps from defiling the Shabbat mm -hmm. and holds fast my covenant. Mm -hmm. Hold fast my covenant. Yeah. So not only were they to hold fast to Yah's covenant then, they are to hold fast to Yah's covenant now. Wow. That's mm -hmm. it. Even them I will bring to my what? My holy mountain. Mm -hmm. And make them joyful in my house of prayer. 
their burnt offerings, of course, and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. Today, their what? Their confessions and their repentance yes. through Yahshua yes. or Yahoshua mm -hmm. will be accepted. That's it. Okay. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for what? All. How many? All. All nations. So Yahweh our El, who gathers the outcasts of Israel, says, Yet I will gather to him others, mm -hmm. foreigners, strangers, mm -hmm. right. others besides those who are gathered to him. But here's the thing that that amazes me. You read something here a couple of times mm -hmm. it, that is just beyond me. Mm -hmm. It says to keep his Sabbath, <laughs> <laughs> his Shabbat. Yeah. Show me anywhere in this book where the Father changed his Sabbath day from the seventh day to the first. It's not there. Show it to me. It's just not there. Show it to me. And don't tell me about Easter Sunday morning. Because right? mm -hmm. that's a lie. Yeah, that's an error. Or what, what they no, think Paul no, said. Right, no. What you think he said. Right, no. When I say to you, that is a lie. That's what I mean. It didn't happen. You better go back mm -hmm. and read what it said. Mm -hmm. And please don't believe these idiots that's running around here telling you that it made two days in one. Mm -hmm. That's horrible. Please, don't, oh. don't do that. Because oh, no. <laughs> that's utterly ridiculous. Right. Okay. The scripture does not say that. No. And you, and if somebody is standing up in front of you telling you that, what you better do is get you a ticket and take the next rocket ship to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> get as far away yeah. and put as much highway or distance yeah. between you and whoever that individual yeah. is as you can get. That's it. Because that, that ain't happening. No, it's not. Something, something, something's troubling me, though. Uh, so tell me. Um, This word that we understand what is Christian. Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell me this word Christian is not exclusively something that is connected with the church? In other words, you understand what I'm saying? Here's my question. Most of us think that the term Christian is solely connected to the word church. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that if we're talking about the church being in the Tanakh, or what they call the Old Testament, there wasn't no such thing as no Christians then. No. Right. So, so you mean to tell me that this word Christian is not something that, that, uh, that started with the church? Oh, no. But that's what we equate today? Uh, right. Yeah. In other words, we equate Christian and church in the same breath. I know. Right. Mm -hmm. But we know that the true church was long before there was a such thing called a Christian. Dang. Right. So so I'm not I'm not wrong by by not looking at Christian not being initially a part of the church. Oh no. Right, right. I'm not wrong. No, you're no, not. You're not. Okay. I just want to make sure. No, okay. By no means are you wrong. Very good. See, the problem has been is that because we uh, put down the laws and statutes and judgments mm -hmm. of this book, okay, that's the main reason why the church is in the position it's in. What I'm saying is mm -hmm. that for the last 2,000 years, mm -hmm. the wrong people mm -hmm. has been teaching Yah's word. Mm -hmm. And that's why the church is messed up today, and they don't have any law, and they think they got law out of the testimony, mm -hmm. <laughs> because they have the wrong people teaching out of this book mm -hmm. when it's supposed to be Israel. But see, when Israel failed, the whole world has been suffering for the last 2,000 years. 
But like I've said in times past, the Father's pouring out his spirit upon Israel, mm -hmm. where the true church, the foundation of the church, mm -hmm. is supposed to come from. Mm -hmm. And if you want the truth, I would advise you to find somebody of Israel that knows the truth and get it from them. That's Yah's protocol. No, I was just I was just gonna say, turn to Acts the seventh chapter. And I'm gonna start reading at verse forty four. And you got a little subtitle here that says, Elohim's True Tabernacle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It says, our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. As he appointed instruction to Moshe to make it according to the pattern that he had seen which our fathers, having received it in turn, <coughs> also brought with Joshua into the land possessed by the Gentiles, whom Elohim drove out before the face of our fathers until the day of Dawid, mm -hmm. who found favor before Elohim and asked to find a dwelling for Elohim of Yaakov. But Slomo built him a house. I'm gonna stop right there. Notice it said. Okay. <laughs> again, echoing on what you said. Mm -hmm. You know, the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness. Very good. This was the true church. Mm -hmm. And that's what continued even after Slomo built the father's house. Mm -hmm. But these people, they have not understood that where the father placed his name in Jerusalem in mm. the temple, today is still right. the point from which everything emanates. Mm -hmm. Not from Rome. Right, no. right, right. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Very right good. there in Acts, okay, Elder, and it says, 48, nevertheless, yeah. the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, yep. as said the prophet. Right. Right. But we're talking about the instrument. Okay. A structure could not house Yah. Okay. Of course There not. is no structure on the planet that could house Yah. Not right. So. We're talking about, we're talking about the assembly right. that the Father set aside to bring you under a specific protocol to 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 at least uh feel his essence yeah that the best a human being could mm -hmm. to look upon that part of him mm -hmm. that he allowed you to look upon him right, right, that's right. what we're talking about yeah right. so we're not saying that uh the most high dwelleth in structures right 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 we're not even trying to say that hey make it plain bro. okay let me break this down a little further now, I'm glad you stopped right there. Go to 1 Kings. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring this thing closer this way in time. Mm -hmm. See, we, we, All right? We, we good, good. 1 Kings, the ninth chapter. Mm -hmm. And you stopped about where it says, but Slomo built him a house. Right. Let's go there. Okay. And it came to pass, this is uh, 1 Kings 9 and 1. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when Slomo had finished the building of the house of Yahweh mm -hmm. and the king's house and all Slomo's desire, which he was pleased to do. Okay. That Yahweh appeared to Slomo the second time as he had appeared unto him at Gibeon. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh said unto him, I have heard the prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. I have hallowed this house which thou hast built mm -hmm. to put my name there forever. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. See? Mm -hmm. Look at that. And if thou, if thou wilt walk before me as thou we thy father walked in integrity of heart and in uprightness mm -hmm. and to do according to all that I have commanded thee, 
and wilt keep my statutes and my ordinances, then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom upon Israel forever, as I promised to Dawid thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. Mm -hmm. Go to Matthew, the first chapter. Go ahead, brother. Okay? Break that thing down. Matthew 1. <laughs> okay? <coughs> Matthew 1 and 1. The book of the genealogy of Yahshua HaMashiach, mm -hmm. the son of Dawid. Yes. All right? Mm -hmm. So now, that's to confirm that there shall never, the, there shall never cease from being a, a ruler on the throne of Dawid, mm -hmm. which okay. Yahshua was that extension right. of Dawid. Right. Now let's clarify that. As long as we perform the way that we were supposed to perform, we know that we didn't. That's why we were kicked out of the land. Mm -hmm. But the Father's name never ceased, never ceased. to be from there. Right. Or uh, even though the temple was totally destroyed. Right. Huh? Right. The Father, the Father's name is still there. Right. How, how do we know? Because what is it called today? The Holy Land. Holy Land. Mm -hmm. Aren't they still That's fighting right. over what is called the Holy Land That's right. today? Right. That's right. It has not changed. Changed. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So everybody knows that this is the Holy Land. Very good. Everybody so knows. So what is wrong? What is wrong? <laughs> wrong is the per per uh, perpetrator <laughs> oh. of the lie. Right? Oh, okay. Right. That's who Rome is. <laughs> Again, echoing on, on what Elder said about Christian. Where did that come from? We know that the Messiah was not a Christian. No. Never was. They were never called Christians. Right. Mm-hmm. And can I say something mm -hmm. on that since you said that, Elder? Yeah. <laughs> one of the things, one of the things that really irritates me <laughs> is when I read in a passage anywhere that someone has written that the Jews <laughs> referred to us because they were believers in Christ mm -hmm. were converted to Christianity. Right. That's not true at all. No. Peter, James, John, those brothers were not Christians. No, they weren't. You want to claim them as being Christians because they believe in, quote, unquote, Christ, as you say? No. They weren't called Christians, neither did they call themselves they Christians. Christians. That's right. So that's a misnomer. They were part of the church, yes, but they weren't Christians because there was no Christianity then. No. Yeshua himself was not a Christian. That's right. No. Let's let's go to uh, so I can finish this. What I was trying to bring out. Go to Isaiah eleven chapter. <clears throat> Isaiah eleven. And one. Now remember back here. Let me see. Back here in uh, 1 Kings 9 and 5, at the ending of the, the verse 5, it says, There shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Isaiah 11 and 1. And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, mm -hmm. and a branch shall grow out of his roots. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Jesse was the, was the father of Dawid. Mm -hmm. All right? That weed son was Solomon, or Slomo. Mm -hmm. All right? Two, and the spirit of Yahweh shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom, the understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of Yahweh. Now, this is in Isaiah. It's talking about the root of Jesse. That we is dead mm -hmm. at this point. Yep. Slow-mo is dead yep. at this point. So who are they talking about? Sure. The Flipped it to Matthew, mm -hmm. Matthew 16. Okay? 
Matthew 16 and 13. It said, when Yahshua came into the borders of Caesarea, Philippi, and he asked his disciples, saying, who do men say that I am? Mm -hmm. yeah. The son of man am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Eliyahu, mm -hmm. and others Yeremiahu, or one of the prophets. Mm -hmm. He said unto them, but who say ye that I am? Yeah. And Shimon Peter answered and said, Thou art Hamashiach, the son of the living El. Yeah. And Yahshua answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon, by, by Jonah, and flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my father who is in Hashemim. Mm -hmm. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of Hashemim, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, and shall, shall be bound in heaven, mm -hmm. and whosoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Rome does not have that power. Me and no. Elder was talking about this earlier this week. No. The church or the Messiah established this with Peter um, to loose and bind. I, I'm, I'm glad that we went there because it wouldn't have been appropriate for us to say all that we've said and then go right here. Yeah, let right. me say, let, let me finish, finish this right, right there. There. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, Rome, the line wonder, or the land establishment okay. of the church, yeah, does right. not have this power. No. Right. The power to loose and bind right. was given to Peter. Mm -hmm. who at this time was the establishment of Yahweh's church at this time. Absolutely. Chief apostle. That's, okay? That's very important. So I brought, I tried to bring it as best I could all the way down up until, I mean, closer to this time period. Right. Still 2,000 year difference, but it's right. closer. Right, right, right. Now go ahead, That is extremely important. This is, this mm -hmm. is so very important. Mm -hmm. Listen, viewing audience. Peter was given the keys to the kingdom. Kazakio just read that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yehoshua gave him the keys to the kingdom, and therefore, when we look at the first church on this earth, mm -hmm. on this earth, the first church on earth was established in the city of Jerusalem or Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a fact. Okay. Yeah. We know that James was the head of that first church. Mm -hmm. And the apostles were the authority in that church. Peter is key here because Yahushua gave him the keys of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And he says, and whatever you, Peter, mm -hmm. whatever you bind on earth, will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. That is so profound, mm -hmm. and that is an awful lot of power. That's right. Mm -hmm. Being the first church in Jerusalem or in Jerusalem, the apostles were in Jerusalem, James being the head of the first church, this power and this authority was given to Peter by Yehoshua. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What this really means is, when Yeshua said, whatever you bind will be what? Bound in heaven. Bound in heaven. Mm -hmm. It meant simply this. Whatever decisions that the authority in the church, the mm -hmm. apostles, James, whatever decisions that they made in regards to the church, mm -hmm. principles, rules, whatever, right. as long as they did not transverse law, those decisions would be bound here on earth, and the Father would then ratify these same decisions and accept them in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So whatever they came to a conclusion to hold on to, to hold fast to, or to establish, y'all would establish and accept it. That's very good. It says, whatever you loose on earth, Peter, mm -hmm. apostles, 
heads of the church, James, whatever you lose, in other words, the principles, the rules that you reject, mm -hmm. that you don't want no part of, that you do not adhere to, mm -hmm. that you would not wish to be so, that you reject, the Father will also reject in heaven. That is a lot of power. That authority and that power was given to the first church on earth. Every church, whether it be in Ephesia, whether it be in, in, in Corinth, whether it be in Thessalonica, it didn't matter where. All of the churches throughout the entire world mm -hmm. that were established at that point in time all had to answer to what? To Jerusalem. Jerusalem. That's it. They all, because they came under the authority of Jerusalem. King, Shaul King. or Paul himself came under the authority of the church at Jerusalem. Yeah, he did. He was subject to their rule. Yes, he was. And Barnabas was one of them. Right. right. But he was subject to their rule as well as everyone else. Right. As well as any church, the head of any church in any city on earth. Right. Why is it that we don't understand that this authority and this power is not given to the Roman Catholic Church, or for that matter, to any other church other right. than the first church. Right. That's it. Gentiles cannot establish a church anywhere on earth that they feel like it and then assume the responsibility and the power to change or right. to make up rules. Only the church at Jerusalem had that authority. No one else. Right. right. I just want to say that because that's important. Mm -hmm. But most people don't understand that. Right. This is important. Only the apostles. Right. Only James had the power to establish rules, accept rules, reject rules, mm -hmm. as long as they were within the guidelines of Yah's word. Right. Only they had that power. No one else had that power. Right. Please understand that, people. No one else has that power. We have another people come and take over and make up churches all over the world. Right. And then they establish their own rules, and we accept those things as, as a part of another religion called Christianity to right. say, you know what, okay, this is the way it's going to be. They didn't establish that then. That's right. If they didn't establish it then in Jerusalem or Jerusalem, if the apostles didn't establish it, if Peter didn't establish it, if James didn't establish it, then it's not so. Right. Mm -hmm. When we went in captivity, it got in the wrong hands, this book. And that's why it's messed up today. Because the Roman Catholic Church took over right. after they helped put us in captivity. So for the last 2,000 years, they've been running this thing, and it's been messed up. And that's why we have a 1,000 different denominations. Right. And Shaul said there's right. one faith, one baptism, one spirit, mm -hmm. one Yah. Mm -hmm. So where they get all these denominations from? The mother of harlots. The Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Because Universal. another people, and exactly like you said, mm -hmm. Obiahu, another people came in behind us. Right. Removed us out of the equation. Right. And then created and established rules and regulations for themselves. Came. And it was something other than what the Father had prescribed for us. Came. Because we don't understand that this is not just any old thing or any old kind of power that Yeshua gave to the apostles under Peter. Okay. That's a lot of power. Yeah, the keys yeah. of the kingdom is, is really is really important. Yeah, it is. And you got to understand that somebody else can't come in and just move you out right. and establish new rules that the Father did not ordain right. or know a people that he did, did he ordain right. other than yourself. Very good. So let's go to Acts, and let's start dealing with this brother named Peter. <laughs> since that, since Hamashiach said, on this rock I build my church. Okay. That he handed the keys of heaven, Hashemim, to this brother. Look at that. Okay. Let's go to, got so many places I want to go. Mm. Let's go to... to Acts, the, the second chapter, okay? Uh, let's 
And let me start at the, we'll start at the 32nd verse. <coughs> Okay, chapter 232. 232. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the 30, 32, is it 2 and 32? Okay. This, Yahshua, have Elohim raised up. Wherefore, we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of Yah exalted and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he have shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For thou we is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, Yahweh saith unto my, my master, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. <coughs> Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that Yahweh have made that same Yahshua whom ye have crucified, both Master and Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, mm -hmm. every one of you, in the name of Yahshua, Hamashiach, mm -hmm. for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is unto you, mm -hmm. and to your children, and to all that are <laughs> far off, even as many as the Master, or Yahweh, our Elohim, shall call. Okay, okay. And with many other words did he testify and exalt, exhort, mm -hmm. saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. Now, go to Matthew... Mm -hmm. The 28th <laughs> chapter. Okay. All right, and we was reading this earlier today. Okay. Matthew 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Matthew 28 and 16. <coughs> then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Yahshua had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Yahshua came and spoke unto them, saying, All authority is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Mm -hmm. Go ye therefore, teaching all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Now, Peter was there when that commission was given. Okay. Cain. Okay. Right, yeah, he was. So, when we flip back over what we just read, mm -hmm. right here in 38, he said, And Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized. Right. Mm -hmm. Remember, right here, uh, back in Matthew, I'm just doing this flip-flop thing right quick, but mm -hmm. just stay with me. Mm -hmm. He said, Go ye therefore teaching all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things, Whatsoever I have commanded you, we are dealing with what we started out from the beginning. Yep. The covenant. Mm -hmm. Yep. We dealing with the law. Bring bring it on home, brother. We dealing with we dealing with the principles uh, regarding uh, the do's and the don'ts, the the book of the covenant. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're dealing with the Father's name. Right. Okay. We're dealing with all the establishments, the statues and ordinances right. that was put forth in the beginning. Right. This mm -hmm. is what the Messiah said yeah, and yeah. commissioned Peter and the rest of the apostles to do. This is the foundation of the church. Let me read it one more time. Go ahead. 19. Go ye therefore, this is Matthew 28, 19. Go ye therefore teaching all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you. All things. Peter was given the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is the foundation of the church. Yeah. On this rock, I build my church. Mm -hmm. All right, now let me say this. That is very, very, very important, but I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to put some more things or add some more okay, things to it. Okay. In Matthew, the 28th chapter, Okay. The verses that Kazakiel just read, mm -hmm. 
beginning with verse 19. Mm -hmm. Immediately after the Father poured out his spirit mm -hmm. on the Gentiles mm -hmm. and then accepted them into his fold. Mm -hmm. Right here where it says, where Yeshua says, go, this begins or is the very foundation of the church. Mm -hmm. The one That's right. church that would now incorporate That's right. the Gentiles. That's right. Because the yeah. church was already here. Yeah. That's right. And had right. been here for thousands of years. That's right. Yeah. So this right here is the very beginning or the establishment, like you said, right. of the church that would incorporate uh -huh. this new people, this common people mm -hmm. who are now called what? Uncommon. Uncommon. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, so here's the thing. What we see here, where this command here is given, right, right. this is taking place immediately after the first chapter of Acts. That's mm -hmm. right. Because of this, because of the apostles or disciples, at the time, here in Acts, Yeshua tells them what? Hang Wait around. for the Holy Spirit. That's right. Hang and around. then you can go. Right. But it was not until the Spirit would come that they would go out. Right, right. Yeah. After in Acts here, when the Spirit came, then the command was given here at 19 to go. Right. This right. is the beginning, again, of the church and the establishment of the church, mm -hmm. but it is also that mystery thing, and it's also that package, <coughs> that special thing that the Father had given the Gentiles, which is grace. This is where their grace begins here, right. because this <clears throat> being the commission of the church. Right. Remember how we said earlier, there's a difference, one, one of the differences between the church where we're talking about here in the New Testament, as opposed to the one we're talking about in the Tanakh or the Old, right. is that the church of old was never given a commission to go out anywhere. Right, right. At this point, the church is commissioned, Ooh. is not only commissioned, commanded and demanded right. to go. Didn't it say go here? Say mm -hmm. go, mm -hmm. action. And it says to where? To all, all nations. nations. So now the command and demand mm -hmm. is to go. go. But they had to wait for the Holy Spirit to That's come. Right. Right. Here right. in Acts. And That's they right. went out. And that, right. was the, well, that was the establishment of what we call the church that would incorporate or bring in or usher in what well, the adopted sons of Yah who would be the Gentiles. That's right. Okay. That's it. Now let's go to let's go let's go to uh, <coughs> Acts 10. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Acts 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to, to expound on what you're saying a little bit further. Okay. Acts 10, first verse. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And there was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, mm -hmm. a centurion right. of the right. band called the Italian band, That's right. a devout man, <laughs> and one that feared Yah mm -hmm. with all his house, okay. who gave much alms to the people and prayed to Yahweh always. Oh. Right. He saw in a vision, evidently, about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of Yahweh coming in and into him and saying unto him, Cornelius. Mm -hmm. And when he looked on him, he was afraid and said, What is it, master? Mm -hmm. And he said unto him, Thy prayers and thy arms are come up for a memorial before Yah. Mm -hmm. And now send men to Joppa and call for one Simon, whose surname is Peter. Mm -hmm. This is the same brother right. that Yahshua gave the keys. keys. Right. Yeah. Stand congruent. And you understand what I'm exactly. saying? And Stand this congruent. is the first time that I know of where a Malak or an angel of Yah has appeared to a Gentile. a Gentile. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay? Right. Six, he lodges with one Simon, a tanner, mm -hmm. whose house is by the seaside. He shall tell thee what thou ought to do. Right. This is the Gentile. Understand, this Gentile, this uh -huh. Italian, he's right. an Italian, right. 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 coming before a, soldier well. a black man. Right. Not that, and I'm not concentrating on he being black. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, he's an Israelite. Mm 
Protocol. Okay. We're talking about, right, like you say, protocol. Oh, right. We're talking about this Italian that had to humble himself and go to an Israelite yep. to get instruction. Let's finish reading. That's right. <clears throat> Seven. And when the angel who spoke unto Cornelius was departed, he called two of his household servants and a devout soldier of those that waited on him continually. Mm -hmm. And when he had declared all these things unto them, he sent them to Joppa. Mm -hmm. On the next day, as they went on their journey and drew near to the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. And he became very hungry, and he would have eaten, but while they made ready, he fell into a trance, mm -hmm. and saw heaven open, and a certain vessel descending uh, to him, <laughs> as it had been a great sheet knit at the four corners and let down to earth, yeah. in which were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill, and eat. Mm -hmm. But Peter said, Not so, master, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. brother's mm -hmm. sticking by his guns because he understands the covenant. Mm -hmm. right. He understands the law, statutes, and okay. ordinances okay. Right. that was in the first church or the, the establishment in the beginning of the first church. Right. This right. is why he's sticking by his guns right. like right. he is. Right. right. Smart man. All right. Absolutely. 15. And the voice spoken to him again the second time. What Elohim have cleansed that call not thou coming? This was done thrice and the vessel was received up again unto Hashemim. Now while Peter was perplexed what this vision which he had seen should mean, behold, the men who were sent from Cornelius had made inquiry from Simon's house and stood before the gate and called and asked whether Simon, who was surnamed Peter, was lodged there. Mm -hmm. While Peter thought on the vision, the spirit <coughs> said unto him, Behold, three men seek thee. Arise, right. therefore, get thee down and go with them, doubting nothing, okay. for I have sent them. Peter went down to the men who were sent unto him from Cornelius and said, Behold, I am he who ye see. What is the cause for which ye are come? He's still trying to figure this thing out because right. he has nothing to do with anybody outside of Yisrael. Right. Okay. That's right. But that was the LAW. Right. Anything, right, that was the law that he had to adhere to okay. yep. because the, this is the foundation of the church. Let me read this. Uh, let me hurry up and read this. And they said, Cornelius, the centurion, a righteous man, and one that feared Yah and of good report among all the nation of the Israelites was warned from Yah by a holy angel to send for thee into his house and to hear the word. Uh -huh. And then called he them in and lodged them. And on the next day, Peter went away with them, and a certain brethren from Joppa accompanied them. Okay. And the next day after they entered the Caesarea, and Cornelius waited for them, and had called together his kinsmen and his friends, near friends. And Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him, and fell down at his feet, and worshipped him. Right. But Peter took him up, saying, Stand up, I myself also am a man. And as he talked with him, he went in and found many that were come together. And he said unto them, Ye know that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is an uh, Israelite to keep company or to come into one of another nation. But Yahweh have shown me that I should not call any man common or unclean. <coughs> right. Why they don't ever read that? Right. Instead of saying, oh, well, you can eat anything. Right. It's all about it's so stupid. humanity. I mean, why? Why would you do that when... This is not talking about food whatsoever. No. Absolutely. No. It's no. talking about bringing in Gentiles. others. Yep. See, because they failed to, to remember that Peter was first to bring in mm -hmm. right. That's right. the Gentile. He right. was first to go out. Shaul right. only continued the mission. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay. But the point being is that what Yah has cleansed, let no man call unclean. Okay. That's 
the basis. Go ahead. Skip down to 33 because we only got a, few, yeah, uh, go a couple ahead. more minutes. 33. Mm -hmm. Immediately, therefore, I said to thee, and thou hast done well, that thou art come. Now, therefore, are we all here present before Yahweh to hear all things that are commanded thee of Yahweh. Go to 44. Read 44. Go ahead right. read 44. While Peter yet spoke these words, the Holy Spirit fell on all them who heard the word, and they, and they of the circumcision who believed were astonished, mm -hmm. as many as came with Peter, because the on, gift. Mm -hmm. on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Spirit. Exactly. But I'm not, okay, all I'm simply saying is, Elder, on 33, this is confirming what Yahshua said mm -hmm. in right. Matthew 28. 28. Yeah, Peter, Peter on his job. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So that's what I, that's the and point I was trying first. to make. Yeah. Right. And, 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 and like you said, the, the gift of the Holy Spirit fell upon the Gentile. This right. is the introduction into right. the church. To but the church. you see they had to come through the protocol. Right, Yah's right. protocol. And come through Israel yeah. to get to the most high. Right. right, and remember, and they, and sorry, right. that's the establishment of the right. church. And the head of all of these churches, right. the head of all the churches right. were Israelites yeah. because we were the only ones with the word of Yah. That's Cain. right. So Cain. we Cain. were given the very oracles of Yah, as Shaul or Paul said, right. and we had to then teach them. Very right. good. And the Romans, the Romans oppressed the Israel at the time. And Cornelius had to humble himself and go to a brother. But you see, when he bowed out to the brother Peter, mm -hmm. he told him, get up. Okay. So why do folks today kiss the Pope ring? You're supposed to bow down to no man. Right. right. You're supposed to bow down to no man. Right. Revelations 1-1. One, one. Right, quick. Okay. It says, the revelation of Yahshua HaMashiach, which Elohim gave to him to show his servants things which must shortly come to, come to pass or take place. And he sent and signified it mm -hmm by his angel to his servant, Yahu mm -hmm. who bore witness to the word of Elohim and to the testimony of Yahu Shua HaMashiach, to all things that he saw. Now, what they're saying is that we spoke about protocol. Mm -hmm. The protocol was what? Mm -hmm. The father give it to the son. Okay. The son give it to the angel. Mm -hmm. The angel give it to the Israelite to give to the rest of the sons and daughters of Adam. Mm -hmm. right. It has not changed. That's right. It hasn't changed. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's what we want to say. That's what, that's what we're saying. The began with Israel, Israel. It's gonna end with and it's still that's right. in Israel's hands. That's 